So if you happen to own a 2006 or equivalent model Dodge Grand Caravan or Chrysler Town and Country, you may have run into the problem where it'll be driving along and all of a sudden it'll stall. It won't start. Let it sit for a while and it runs. Sometimes it doesn't or you tow it and then it starts running miraculously once it comes off the tow truck. Um, or if you're just getting a whole bunch of different coats. I, I was having all those problems. My mechanic wanted to change all the sensors one at a time and was trying to tell me what I needed and I was basically just wasting a heck of a lot of money. I wound up fixing it and it turned out to be super easy so I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how. So um, I bought this thing at AutoZone for 59 bucks. It's a code reader. So if you're getting error codes, you may or may not be getting error codes when you get this stalling problem. Um, you'll probably get like a whole bunch of them at once, like four different codes. One for the crankshaft sensor, one for the throttle position sensor, all these different things. Um, and it's a good thing that happened because that led me to talk to a different friend of mine who's a mechanic who lives out of state, so he wasn't around to help me, but he could give me advice. And he said, if you're getting all those codes at once, it's probably an electrical problem just a bad connection somewhere and I'm not a mechanic but luckily I am an electrician so let me show you what I figured out so on the battery on the ground terminal forgot to pop the trunk hood here's what you got on this car on your grounds you have these two approximately six gauge wires and this one big like two eye which used to be connected by one of these piece of crap connections which are unreliable as hell I'll show you the old one if you have one of these this is your problem and where did it go man and I wanted to show you for the video. Oh, here it is. All right, so let me show you this thing. It's got this wonderful clamp connector here. And as you can see, it's kind of blurry. I don't know why my stupid camera won't focus, but there's the ends of the two smaller wires and the one big one. And they're all squeezed into this clamp connector here. Well, this car's 10 years old, so, you know, it's gonna get a little corrosion on it. Obviously, cleaning in here didn't do the job. I was still having a bad connection somewhere. So what I did was I cut this piece of crap off, because it sucks. And I found, luckily, I was gonna go to Home Depot and just build my own connector out of, like, real electrician stuff like for electrical panels but I got lucky and I found this baby at AutoZone for 10 bucks 